My name is Mo Raskar. I'm an assistant professor at the mechanical engineering department at Michigan Tech. I'm also the director of Human Interactive Robotics Lab. This is the prototype of, an, uh, of a powered anchor foot prosthesis. It has two controllable degrees of freedom and uh, uh, it's, uh, it's capable of uh, steering uh, and uh, changing the direction. Also, in order to be able to evaluate the performance of the robot, we are developing this um, circular treadmill as an evaluation platform. My research is focused on the design of powered ankle foot prosthesis. Powered prosthesis should be lightweight and also be able to apply adequate amount of torques uh, at the ankle joint. My long-term goal is to understand the varying dynamics of the human ankle during different maneuvers of gait, especially turning and changing the gait direction, uh, and incorporate these findings in the design of a steerable ankle foot prosthesis. This feature makes the artificial legs to perform more similar to human biomechanics. It will, it will increase mobility in amputees that result in improved emotional and physical well-being. Well, my name is Evander Fikanya. I'm a PhD student here in the Mechanical Engineering Department at Michigan Tech. And I work on this project for the last, for some time. And what's innovative on this ankle foot prosthesis is that we are using a cable driven mechanism which allows us to have a motor assistant. We basically can move these motors and gearboxes anywhere, for example, in a backpack, and just have a similar in a bicycle, you have the cables going through a cable housing. We can have these cables going to the foot, which really lowers the inertia of the foot and the weight, and literally allows us to custom build a prosthesis for the, each amputee, independent if he has a long residual limb or not. So, because we can control both rotations of the ankle, it really facilitates turning, and that's one of the main goals of our project. So, to test the turning capabilities of our prosthesis, we have to test it. So we could use a regular treadmill, but that goes always in a straight line. So to test the turning motion, we built the circular treadmill, where to walk on top, the foot has to turn, similar to what a person would turn in a regular gait. So this treadmill is capable of loading and unloading the ankle with as much weight as we want by changing weights. And, and we can change speeds, radius of turn, by move the feet inside or out. And we can also change the, add irregularities to the surface to simulate obstacles and things like that. So we have a lot of flexibility on whatever kind of testing we want to do on our prosthesis and with repeatable results.